Switching now to baseball, using an aggressive approach on the base pass yesterday, and in fact all season, Coldwater ran their way into today's regional title game against Huron. Cavs stealing four bases in the win over the Fredericktown Freddies, including swiping home as Brian Harlemert's team took the early lead and didn't look back in the 7-3 victory as the Matco champions need just one more win for their 19th trip to the state tournament. Back to Ed Sandy Field today to take on the Huron Tigers. Grant Muellenkamp getting the start on the hill for the Cavs. Top of the first, Tigers with a man on second, two outs. Tommy Bogdan, grounder to first. Mitch Hain backhands it, but no one's covering the bag. Meanwhile, Keegan Bolenbacher, he was running on the pitch, never stopped, scores. Huron up 1-0. Bottom of the third, still 1-0, two on for Cavs. Malavai Bettinger, base hit into left center. Brady Hoyne's going to come in and score from second as the Cavaliers tied up at one apiece. Next batter, Hine, wild pitch. Otten scores from third. And then the pinch runner, Craig Shane here, he's aggressive as well. When the throw gets past the pitcher, Shane trying to score from second. Throw gets away from the catcher. He is safe. 3-1, Coldwater leading. Go to the top of the six now. 5-1 lead for the Cavs. A man on first for Aaron Harlemert. Fly ball to center field. Tiger can't make the catch. And Adam Klosterman running all the way. Scores from first as Cavaliers adding on to the lead up 6-1. to one. More from Coldwater in the bottom of the six. Blake Spangler hits the chopper into right field. Klosterman will come in to score. 7-1 Coldwater in front. And then Drew Otten had a great game. Four for four, including this grounder up the middle, plating. Hoying, 8-1, Coldwater leading, going to the top of the seventh. And Muhlenkamp would set him down in order as he went the distance. Coldwater wins 8-1 the final. Cavaliers going back to the state tournament. A lot of these guys have been around for three, uh, Mitch Hine for four years, uh, I've been here for 17, and it get, that ain't getting better than getting to Columbus. Uh, but we've been there a lot of people times, haven't finished the business. I think right now, I think they're determined, one, to get there, and two, to win it. It's a matter of just playing our game, and we have some fun winning, winning games. It means a lot. We work so hard. A lot of us have been here two, three years starters. So to get there, to get to the ship, Huntington Park, it just means a lot for us, and make sure Let's all the hard work pay off. We knew when we were sophomores we were going to have a good team in the future, and just now we're here. Last year didn't come out our way, but this year we've been ready to go, and it's been an awesome journey so far. It's all about the Coldwater baseball family, and, the, and, and we challenge them beginning of the year, just have passion, heart, and go get it. And you saw today, you know, seven seniors. Uh, things weren't our, going our way we're in the game, but they just kept battling. You know, Grant Mullen can't have his best stuff early, but he was able to battle and get through seven innings. And that just shows the, the dedication, the heart, and the passion that our players have for getting up the baseball and is playing it. So it's about that feeling that we have right there. And you can see that victory over Huron on WOSN throughout the weekend as Coldwater advances on. They will take on Wheelersburg, who beat Marion Elgin tonight. So the Cavaliers and Wheelersburg will be the final game Thursday night at Huntington Park. Meanwhile, the top half of that bracket, Orville taking on Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy.